politician. I'm a Navy SEAL, and I'll take dead aim at politics as usual. He campaigned as an outsider, a family man. Most importantly, I am a very proud husband and father. First-time candidate Eric Greitens, a Democrat-turned-Republican, appealed to a cross-section of voters with his brains and brawn. Now, just one year after being sworn in, Governor Greitens finds himself under siege. Audio recordings from March of 2015, obtained by our St. Louis affiliate KMOV, which CBS has not independently verified, appear to show an unnamed woman, the governor's alleged hairdresser, admitting a consensual sexual encounter with the governor to her then husband. He said, I'll make you feel better. I'll make you feel good. Come downstairs. I want to show you how to do a proper pull up. And I knew that he was being sexual, and I still let him. Let me use some sort of tape, I don't know what it was, and taped my hands to these rings and then put a blindfold on me. But it was the alleged blackmail threat, she said, that scared her. And he stepped back and I saw a flash through the blindfold and he said, you're never going to mention my name. Otherwise, pictures will be everywhere. While acknowledging the affair, the Show Me State governor denies all other accusations, saying, show me the proof. We have not been provided the tape or the transcript and know nothing about the circumstances of how or why it was made. In a separate statement, First Lady Sheena Greitens, who apparently has forgiven her husband, said, we have a loving marriage and an awesome family. Anything beyond that is between us and God. As for the woman on the tape, the former hairdresser, she has not commented publicly. And according to our St. Louis affiliate, she was not aware at the time that her ex-husband was recording her confession. Jeff. Yeah, thank you very much.